Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, we're on the street. Is that Canelo Alvarez could be taking on Dimitri Bivol. Well, this is a fact. This is Eddie Hearn. So let's talk about what Eddie Hearn said first. And then we'll segue into what we need to segue in. So I do appreciate everybody for tapping in, sharing the videos. Let me get myself together. I'm going to need about an hour. Check out the boxing news and boxing room playlist. All right. So Eddie Hearn went on the record. You know, he can't, he, he talked like a broad man. He talked like a woman, man. And um, he went on record saying that, uh, and also he said that AJ Usyk tickets sold out. So honestly, that that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fucking, that, that's like a, a, a champion fighting a, a, a fighter outside the top 15. Usyk is not a top 15 heavyweight. No matter how y'all want to slice the cake, y'all want to, you know, live off what he did in, at the cruiserweight level, it don't matter. He ain't Holyfield. He ain't James Tony. all right? He is a top 20 heavyweight. When you're talking about the 10 best heavyweights, he ain't in it. All right, but um, Eddie Hearn has revealed that uh, Canelo Dimitri Bill will take place at the catchweight. If he's get done for September 18th, we'll make the fight between a uh, fight between a 68 75 while still for Bibble's WBA light heavyweight title. My whole thing is how you get to fight at a catchweight and still fight for a title. That just don't make no sense. And then I heard, let's not hold him up. I heard that uh, they could fight. For October or maybe September, and the catch weight would be 170 pounds. So they'd be fighting 170 pounds. Like I said about Canelo, I told y'all, everybody just going against the grain on plant. Canelo don't take no, he takes no chances. He 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 take he's scared to he's scared to fight. I told y'all, he's scared to, to take a chance. And nobody wanted to believe me. He's scared to take chances. He's scared to take chances. He's scared to take chances. And you see it now. Why can't he fight Beeble straight up? That's my thing. Why can't he fight Beeble straight up? You know, we talking about him fighting Beeble at a catch weight. Why him and Beeble can't get it on at 175? But, um, like I said before, for him, man, it's wild, it's crazy. Canelo moving up two pounds. Come on, man. Beeble, Beeble ain't really made no money in boxing. He got to make some money in boxing. And that's just the truth. Told y'all about Canelo, man. When Canelo don't get his way all the way, the fight not going to happen. No matter how Regis or how crazy the demand is it don't matter and now and now everybody's seeing it for what it is everybody's seeing it for what it is he's a fighter that's gonna take no risks never did people said well people said we're gonna come but well, he didn't uh floyd mayweather floyd mayweather was an old fighter he's an old fighter moving back up that, that's on them He's an old fighter. Before Floyd, he did open scoring versus Arson Trout. Before Floyd. So, like I said before, you already knew what it was, man. You already knew that he was going to get in there and handcuff Dimitri Bivol. When Caleb Plant agreed to everything he wanted, live gate, paper, uh, 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 pay-per-view back in, when they said rematch clause and no rematch clause, and then they come in and say rematch clause, and then you know Al Hamid don't want to pay him forty first to meet Andre Durrell, Anthony Durrell. Then he get the, then he say, well I'm out of here. Fuck Canelo, man. Nobody want to see his unsuspenseful ass fights. I know that probably ain't the word. I don't want to know the the outcome. But then again, he go against Dimitri Bivol and make Bivol squeeze. I know Bivol said, well I can uh, squeeze down to uh. I can squeeze down to uh, 168 pounds. Fuck that, man. You a champion. You know, you shouldn't have to squeeze down nowhere. Five pounds? 
Why you gotta squeeze down five, uh, what is it, five pounds? Why can that little bitch ass can't move up? I'm telling y'all, man, he, he ain't, come on, man. And then he find a dude who ain't got a knockout since 2018. Demetrius Bill ain't got a knockout since he fought Sullivan Barrera. And he got that knockout in the 12th round. So this dude ain't had a knockout since 2018, March 3rd. He ain't knocked out Chulumba. He ain't knocked out old Pascal. He ain't knocked out Joe Smith Jr. He ain't knocked out Lennon, Lennon Costello, Castillo, and, or Craig Richards. And then he didn't fight the whole 2020. Come on, man. Nigga just about to sell his belt. I ain't mad. They ain't got to pay him $8 million. He be happy with four, three million. And Canelo get the pocket the rest. Nobody want to watch Canelo unsuspense fights. I know he ain't a word. Nobody want to watch Canelo continue to fight the vagabonds of the division. Nobody want to watch that. Nobody. We want to see him burst competitive fights. If you're going to move up to fight like heavyweight, move up and fight him full fledged. Come on, to my 170. That's why nobody respected then his, then his stupid ass fans act like. We crazy. I like we lying. Okay, nobody got the line hate on him. How you the face of boxing and you can't fight nobody straight up? You know it's gotta be a you got always gotta be a, a catchway, a rehydration clause, or this, that, and the third. And somebody said, Do you have a rehydration clause since leaving uh going to okay, he fought Calvin Smith? And you the man and Billy Joe. Come on. Come on, he moved up for 75 for Kovalev, but not him. Come on. Because he knew Kovalev took that dive, allegedly. This dude is the worst thing. That, this is the worst face of box you can have. Even more than Floyd. <laughs> Nigga took Floyd shit to another level. He took it to another level. And if you can't knock him out, you ain't got a chance. And even if you do knock him out, they gonna give him a smell of salt. He gonna wake up and kick, whoop your ass. And to me, this ain't a fight that I'm even interested in. Unless it's at a full 140 pounds. Or 75 pounds. Come on. Beaver with 6 foot and 70, 72 inch arms. That boy got the length of, of a junior middleweight. He going there to lose. So guess what? I'm not paying 20. I'm not paying a dollar to watch that fight. If it's in October, if it's in September, fuck that. This dude can't take a chance. At least Anthony Joshua took chances in his career. At least he came to America and got beat up by Ruiz. At least he took his chance, even though he knew it was a calculated chance. Come on. Why do you, why these cats ain't taking a chance? Why he ain't taking no chance, man? Why you want to fight? You see, when you gonna move up, fight B, will take a chance, right? But then put a catch weight on him. The WBA said, like, our title is not on the line for catchweight. But none of them got the balls. All of them think money, money, money. None of them got the balls to stay, step up and do it. Shit wild. But, um... It is what it is, man. But, uh, Canelo. Canelo gonna win that fight. We all know Canelo gonna get in there. And beat Dimitri Bubu. It's not hard. It's not unbelievable. Dimitri, Dimitri ain't really fought nobody neither. He did fight Joe Smith Jr., so that's a good win. Sullivan Barrera, he only had one loss. He fought some guys. Cedric Agnew, Felix Valero. Uh, so he fought some guys. Can't take that away. He gonna get beat up, though. He definitely getting stopped, so. Canelo stopped him. He gotta come. I don't know he said he'd come down to 68. <laughs> He did say that. He said, I can come down to 68 and fight Canelo, but Canelo's fighting him two pounds. <laughs> but Canelo want to get praised like a throwback fighter. He ain't. It's always some type of, of fucking uh, concession a fighter got to make. Why you just can't fight nobody fight straight up? And like I said, he was doing that shit way before he fought Floyd. So people were saying, well, Floyd, man, no, no. He did it versus Matthew Hatton. His first belt came in a catch weight. Come on. Catch weight should be illegal in boxing for, for titles. To be illegal, but um, it is what it is, man. But uh, um, Beaver losing, I have no interest in the fight. Who cares? Uh, who cares? But uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think, man, about it. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, 
You can reach out to me with business question, inquiry, response, your video quest, all the social media links, description. Twitter is the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram. You can reach out anytime. If you want a video request, advertise on the channel, whatever it may be. Want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJGood313. Venmo, CJGood313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. One time for one time. Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. We got the rookie level. We got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's three dollars a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos. Um, there, ten dollars a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations, and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All Stars world too, and priority reply in the comments. So, I see in the comments you get priority reply. You no, know, instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So, uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more, so here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.